Okay, I'm Brad Wilcox, and I'm starting a new semester teaching Book of Mormon at BYU. And I thought I'd share with you some of the, the visual aids that I use with my students. This is a replica of the seer stone, or one of the seer stones that Joseph Smith had. This was the stone that he found in a well, when digging a well, when he was a young man. And then when he would look into the stone, he would be able to see things that other people could not see. And part of the translation of the Book of Mormon was done with the Urim and Thummim, but part of the translation was also done with a seer stone, or seer, uh, several seer stones. Now, people often get confused because they hear that Joseph Smith put a seer stone inside of a hat, and then would look into the hat to see the seer stone. And they think it sounds weird. But when I compare for my students the seer stone to a cell phone, and I say, hey, a smooth surface on which words appear uh, that can be read, then it makes more sense to them. I also say, hey, when you're out on a sunny day and you're trying to look at your cell phone, you wish it were darker. We often go like this to try to see the words better. Well, no wonder Joseph Smith put his cell phone or his seer stone in the hat so that he could block out light and he could see what was being written what was given to him on the seer stone a little clearer. So maybe with these visuals in mind, then it will help you understand a little better, just like I hope it helps my students understand a little bit better about the translation process of the Book of Mormon.